G'day guys, one of the other most simple things you can do for your own real maintenance at home is maintain your drag washers. We've all been out fishing, drag gets a bit sticky, may have lost that fish mate, mm. you don't like it, it just doesn't feel right. It's not that complicated, it's not that hard. Let me show you how we pop the little spring out the top, lay the drag washers out in order, give them a nice pat dry, and then reapply some nice light grease. That's not going to change when we get different temperatures, yeah. whether we're going from 40 degrees up north to 4 degrees down south chasing salmon, whatever it might be. It really isn't that complicated. Most spin reels will have a simple clip in the top. Nice little flat screwdriver, anything you have at home will pop that out. There'll be a split in one spot, and as soon as you find that, like just there, that will pop out like so. Most important thing, lay everything out on a nice clean mat or rag in order, one by one. And, and then that way... Yeah, you've got the uh, carbon six drag washers in it, which are for heavy duty reels. Some of them have those, um, what's those, that other material in there? The, um, oh, that stuff, the felt. Felts. Felt yeah, look, for light tackle, carbon six for heavy tackle. Felts are great. They're great. They give smooth drag at light drag settings, but they also wear out really, really fast. And felt washers, these are carbons, but felts also need constant maintenance with a light bit of Absolutely, grease. Absolutely. Even yeah. after one heavy fishing session, you can go down and catch five or eight salmon or something, and and you can dry those washers out absolutely completely. So we've laid them all out in order, so we can't make any mistakes. The other simple thing, now let's just clean inside the drag stack where it was run, give it a nice clean inside there, make sure there's no salts, no water, even beading water. There's always water, water and, in those drag stacks. Well, it's just the way, they face upwards, they're a cup, they're gonna catch it, but water and grease <laughs> don't work well. They don't lubricate. Yeah. Your grease loses its properties yeah. when it's wet. You want that drag, that sudden inertia, it'll always ramp up in drag pressure before it plateaus off and goes nice and smooth. You don't want that to happen. You want it to be smooth from the get-go, or well, as smooth as possible anyways. So quite simply, we've dried out where our drag stack sits now. It's nice and clean. We've got a little bit of inox on our rags. So it's going to protect the metals down mm. in the bottom as well. The next thing, what do we do with these drag washers? How we deal? Now, carbon especially a bit fragile. If we bend them in our fingers, they can snap. Yeah. Felts are a little bit more forgiving. However, just do it the same way. Sit them on a nice piece of rag or cloth, whatever you have, and literally pat them dry. Give them a bit of a wipe, both sides. Get off any excess, any dirty thing. It's gonna take a fair bit before we need to wash them. Yeah. That's the next step. This is just all day, everyday maintenance. The hard washers and carriers in between, the same. Just clean off the excess. Get them, yeah, give them a nice. any dirt, because they'll just score the, the metal washers. They won't score the carbon washers, but they will score the metal washers. Absolutely, mate. And make it rough, yeah. Everything, just a really, really good clean. I've got a bit of inox on here, so it's gonna protect all of that as well. A really good pat dry. Now these are in really good nick. This is a, a customer's reel that's come in that's actually been looked after really well. So you're not gonna see a lot of carnage here, but it's exactly the same principle for everything. Give the clip a bit of a wipe as and well. And he's a decky on a charter boat, so he, He's done yeah, it right. He's done really he's done well. It right. How much grease do I apply? Carbon washers only need to be damp. Felts are the same, they only need to be damp. Too much excess creates hydraulic pressure. That's right. We're not actually getting pressure onto the drag washers. Mm. I'll do it this way. Tiny little bit of grease, just on my fingertips like so. That is all we, need. All we need. Because all I want, pat it together and literally just pat the washer, whether it's carbon or felt. With felts, keep patting and patting and patting. They'll keep absorbing yeah, it. They'll, they'll, it up, they'll, they'll soak it up and soak it up and soak it up like a dry rag. But you can see even that bit of grease, I've just patted all of that into that washer. I've got pretty much nothing left on my fingers. So it's all just in there. We don't want it wiped, smeared on the outside. Pat it in like so. Do that to all of your washers. Because it's the grease that's within the washer that makes the difference. Yeah not the surplus grease that's on the outside, that's actually only causing a hindrance. Yeah, and you'd still want some smoothness, but you don't want it too smooth. You, if you've got no drag pressure, you, you're basically going nowhere, yeah. so not too much grease. Just like walking out on a slippery brick in the morning, <laughs> you don't have any control at all, do you, mate? No, that's right. Hey? That, that is it. That is as damp as we need to make those. That is gonna, gonna work absolutely perfectly. Pop them back in order. You can use your little Screwdriver, whatever you needed to pick them apart. 
tap them back in there gently. There'll be a little star, so you'll have a, a starred or a grooved washer at some point that sits inside, grooves inside your spool. All different shapes and sizes for all different brands of reels. But in general, you'll have a, a loose hard washer and then a starred one. This is the same, this locks into the tabs. Lots of different models have different little quirky ways of holding their drag stack together. But as long as you lay it out nice and in order on your bench and don't mess it up, mm -hmm. don't let the kids get to it before you get back, the clip is the same, just nice and simple. It'll, you can nearly pop that in with your fingers. Back into its grooves. Pop that in there like so. Make sure it doesn't fly over your shoulder. And there's your drag stack. Fully serviced, ready for another couple of months of fishing. Ready to go, nice smooth drag. Yep. And, uh, and a nicely serviced reel. It's not that hard, have a go at home guys. And if you're not sure, come in and ask us and we'll show you through it. Easy as.